Hi Cancer, welcome to your weekly tarot scope for January 11th through 17th, 2021. Let's get right into your reading and see which area of your life is in focus for this week. What is going on for all the Cancers? Okay, so we've got the fifth house, which is where you have fun, romance, and create things that you are proud of. So there is a couple different energies with this fifth house. Some of you this week are in much softer vibes, um, just feeling very romantic, sentimental, creative, in the moment, embracing all things. Um, it's like I see you having like this dance with life, with the universe this week, okay? Others of you, this is about a love growing in your heart for another person. And this could be romance, this could be a friend, this could be a family member. But this week, some of you, there's this focus on the energy of love and really feeling a connection and offering all of your energy and support to this one person. And, you know, they may really need you right now. Or, you know, this could be where you and somebody are just getting very, very close and you're both enjoying each other and you're in each other's company. And also, Cancer, for you artists, and creatives out there this is a week where you are going to be in those vibes really allow yourself to immerse yourself when those creative juices start flowing even if it feels inconvenient even if it's like something coming through that you haven't really been thinking about sit down write it down channel whatever it is that you've got to do and capture that idea because that creativity is flowing through you for purpose it's a gift from the universe and you can can do something with it so let's pull a card here to look at the energy happening within you specifically this week oh yeah lots of creative energy for cancer this week coming up with solutions for some of you your fantasies yearnings longings and potential for illusion so with this Neptune coming out those of you where this is like a romance um, type of energy, you are definitely in that honeymoon phase where every single aspect of them is perfect as far as you are concerned and vice versa, just in those really nice energies, lusty energies, fireworks, and um, that sweetness and innocence and purity as well, okay? Uh, for like... In, you know, really connecting with a family member or a friend, you guys are coming up with something, okay? There's a lot of creative energy around you, like you're putting your heart into this, and some of you, this is you and your own endeavor, okay? But man, Cancer, what is coming to you this week could be your next big idea, could be a solution for your business, um, it could be spirit trying to lead you down a new career path for some of you, okay, but um, there's this beautiful energy flowing through you and you need to mind it and not let it pass you by and think of it as, you know, um, imaginings that will never come to pass because you have a lot of uh, power this week with all of this energetic passion just flowing through you, my goodness. Again, some of you, I see that kind of like through romance, but for the majority of you, this is like the creation, the collaboration of your next project or your solution, and this is solo or with another person. Um, and the answer for some of you lies far outside the norm, like step far outside the box this week in your thinking and your doing and really put your all in into everything and believe in yourself because you are magic this week cancer you really are okay yes and look at we've got virgo energy as the energy that's around you the energy around you is dutiful hesitant and humble with a discriminating diligent and painstaking air so this idea that you are contriving for yourself or you are creating with others, it definitely has the potential to manifest. 
cancer but it's gonna take work and planning okay you see this person working in the field attending their crops it's like um, whatever this creative idea or big change that you are wanting in your life this moment this week is like you are tilling the ground okay you're preparing the ground and then you're gonna sow the seeds and then you gotta tend the seeds for like a season and then you're gonna start to see growth and what this is about is like the growth all the way into a harvest okay so what you're creating now this week or what you're planning this week where you know your whole heart is into this okay and it might just seem like imaginings but remember Spirit's like, no, you can make this real. You can make these imaginings real. But don't illusion yourself against the work that it will take, the steps that you must walk, because you've got to till, you've got to plant, and then you've got to tender until it's harvest season. And um, I feel this goes over many, many months. It starts this week somehow, some way. And those of you where this is like a, a love relationship where you're just all smitten with each other, um, putting in the work, like you guys could really grow with each other. This has a lot of potential to it. Any um, like new friendship or um, coming into your world, this isn't, yeah, no, this would already, already be like a friend in your life or a family like this isn't new energy coming in like if it's love you're already you've already been with this person before this week and you guys are just in these vibes and you're going to build a lot together okay um friend or family member this is like where you guys are coming up with an idea together about something this is general so it could be like your next big idea it could be a money-making idea starting a business um some big change that you desire in your life and you guys are going to be talking about it, brainstorming about it this week, and it leads in to you taking steps towards it because you will make it manifest, Cancer. All right, let's uh, let's pull some tarot. And the the talking or the brainstorming that you're doing with others or kind of with yourself, that's like you tilling the soil, all right? And you're gonna um, get very defined and intentional in what you want. It's like you're tapping in to the higher realms where it's nebulous, it's not about words, all right? It's about energy and, and you're feeling all over the place and you're gonna pull that down. You're gonna make it manifest for yourself. Seven of Pentacles, it kind of seems like a fantasy, right? But no, look at this, the High Priestess, you feel this for purpose. Yeah, and you have it within you to make this happen. And yes, you do with this Nine of Cups, all right? Um, those of you where this is like a romantic love, you might be really afraid that the other shoe is going to drop here or that you're feeling all of these energies for no purpose. And that's not the case, Cancer. Um, maybe in the past, it's like, things just couldn't work out with this person or in love in general it's like you put your energy in, put your energy in and then it just falls away not this time like this person um it's like you don't need to fear through this seven of pentacles there's a deeper purpose a deeper connection and there is right now at this time a lot of passion and chemistry that may be at the forefront but there's also emotional connection. And through um, working together, you guys can create a lot of emotional fulfillment and happiness, okay? If this is you and a romantic partner wanting to um, start a business or um, make a big move, big change, you guys will make this happen, okay? It's just there's going to be a lot of planning and preparing that you have to put into this whatever it is and then you know others of you this could be falling in love is this real let myself do this or do i hold back and it's like your soul knows your soul absolutely knows the way cancer don't hold yourself back don't be afraid of the work and energy it will take to put in to this relationship and lastly those of you where you have these creative juices flowing 
just you or you collaborating with another really explore it all the way through because i see you making it happen your soul is being ignited cancer it is time for something magical to come forth in your world and uh, with that high priestess there you have the ability within you um, it's just a matter of belief and follow through it's like reach for the stars and whatever spirit brings your way as a task along this journey do it because that's tending your garden here for the highest possible manifestation that you can achieve all right we have the king of swords the chariot that's the card that represents you and that's sitting on the high priestess your soul knows the way oh yeah look at that the king of uh, wands on the queen of wands and now judgment here on the uh, nine of cups okay i just have to pop this out for those of you where this is love and, and like all this passion here you guys are okay you are equal in your affection for each other you are equal in your desire and your attraction towards each other and with judgment here you guys have a soul contract to fulfill with each other this isn't going to fizzle out and fade away you know this runs much much deeper and um, there will come a point where you do have to put in more work than you feel like spun but that's just any relationship it goes through ups and downs and um, ebb and flow but you and this person are very well matched and if you want to make a big move you guys will have victory and success in this, okay? Um, if you guys are like trying to create a business, you will have success in that with the chariot, all right? Um, the, this couple, this love energy, this passion, this honeymoon phase is coming through very strongly for some of you for purpose. All right, and now um, for the rest of you that this doesn't have anything to do with love in that capacity, um, I do see you collaborating with somebody, um, most of you. I know this is general, so some of you this could be totally on your own, but for most cancers, I see you collaborating with somebody, like talking to them, and, and maybe you guys are making plans together, okay, um, this creative project, this creative endeavor, or this is somebody giving you guidance and counsel, all right, on your next steps, what you need to do to make this manifest in your reality because your soul knows, all right, and spirit's confirming success here. It's part of your destiny. It's part of your fate with the judgment coming through, and you will have a lot of emotional fulfillment and happiness, Cancer. Um, so any sort of new idea, creative project, business idea you've got to allow it to come in and have some faith and belief that you could make this real for yourself 100 percent and you know if partnerships in the past have failed you there will be a good partnership coming in for you in as far as business goes okay because this king and queen of wands is a perfect pair a perfect match whether romantically or in business um you know trying to entrepreneur together okay it's a good match for you whereas in the past you may have had people really let you down this is different energy this is new energy and it's like some of you have a second chance to build something that really fell apart in the past so have faith have hope have belief in yourself don't fear that the other shoe is going to drop or that what is coming to you this week that you can't make it real for yourself you're getting that information from your soul like it's the call it's your destiny cancer all right that's what the yes that's what this week's reading is is called like the um calling of your destiny where you are meant to be you're feeling that from your soul even if you don't understand all the way even if you don't see the full path ahead of you you're feeling this call from your soul 
Cancer calling you to your happiness, what is meant for you this lifetime if you so choose it, okay? Some things we decide while we're here to bring in and manifest, and some things are destined and guaranteed to us before we come into this reality because of past energy, past karma, okay? But as free will, you could choose, no, I don't want that experience, that blessing, whatever it is this lifetime, all right? But for you, whatever this is coming to you this week, whatever's brewing here, it is meant for you. It is destined for you if you so choose. Doesn't mean there's not work involved, but you will have a lot of success. You've just got to believe in yourself and put every bit of you into it. Even if we have had failure in the past, it's the time wasn't right, but it sure is now. All right. Oh, yes, because look at here. We've got the sun. The golden energy of the sun brings fame and fortune. So there you go, Cancer. Uh, whatever sort of business creative idea, there you go, fame and fortune. And, you know, that goes with any product you're trying to create. You want it to become famous to everybody, right? So everybody wants it. Um, and, you know, maybe some of you want to um, be famous. Maybe you have a great talent of singing or writing, um, or maybe you want to be famous on some sort of social media platform. This Here it is, like the sun. Cancer, you will. This is part of your destiny, however this is resonating with you. But it's time to believe, all right? You've got the golden energy of the sun working with you. That is amazing, Cancer. Congratulations to you guys. Reach for them stars because you will make it real. Those are your messages, Cancer. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.